I'm really not sure how to feel about this one guys and certainly a video probably coming in the future is potential Optic or Immortals Gaming Club layoffs and some changes over there from their staff. A lot of members of that uh, Optic Gaming staff or Immortals staff in general being laid off or let go. Pac-Man, the former now Optic coach, was actually one of them this past week and I don't know how to feel about this because given the gunless situation, if you guys are unaware, this past week it was actually general in for at least a couple of scrims and practices and gunless was apparently not told by any players or any staff or anyone on the team itself that he was actually benched for the time being. As of me recording this, we have no idea what's going to go on there. Uh, Gunless potentially could be joining uh, a team like Optic, so kind of ironic here as well. But it's super weird to see yet again when it comes time for Pac-Man, guys. I will link the podcast when it does come out uh, down below. He has now come out and said that he himself also was not warned or told about this by anyone besides Mud Dog. I think even more so, he was not, according to his own words, given a single forewarning about the struggle, about the issues, about needing improvement. He was simply let go on the spot when it happened. That was the first time of him hearing about it. And when it comes time for a comparison of traditional sports out there and coaches, I don't know how things operate. When it comes time for pairing this with the gunless thing, uh, of all these staff and players out there finding about their benchings or their firings at the the point it happens from some other third party I think that's very unprofessional and it hurts to hear that an organization like Optic Gaming could not somehow even give Pac-Man a warning of saying hey you need to improve you need to fix this you need to have a resolution for this not at all he was simply given the call and let go and especially with the context that that past weekend was their best result it does obviously mean this decision was probably predetermined no matter what that result was it just makes it look even trickier though when your team gives off their best result so far with a stand-in player and then you let your coach go I, I don't like that look personally but fast forward to this past weekend uh we get second place but uh, I have to say I haven't talked to anyone no one at Immortals slash Optic has talked to me, except for Mud Dog called me on the phone <laughs> to give me the news that day. But like during the weekend, no one talked to me. The week before that, no one talked to me. Even after we went 0 and 2, the tournament before that, no one said a word to me. No one has said a word to me odd, yet man. to this day. Uh, that's probably the thing that upsets me the most about the situation is that I was never given any type of warning. Yeah. Nothing. It's and just I like think oh. for, for people in the chat who play Devil's Advocate, like, uh, it's not that he's saying they have to do that. It's just like courtesy, um, especially because uh, I have a question. I actually haven't asked you this yet. Go ahead. Did they let you know that like your job was in danger at any point? No. Like, no. Um, yeah, because I feel no. like that should be like, yo, um, hey, man, honestly, the team's not performing. Um, we're going to be making a change here soon uh, in the coaching position, like unless the team has drastic change. I feel like uh, you should be given an opportunity Um and that's usually how it's done. I, I, that's actually kind of mind blowing. They didn't uh, let you know I'm, that that was going to happen. He's like, yeah, you did everything that like that I wanted you to do. That like uh, the players had no idea either. None of the all oh, the players really? said, what the hell? No, yeah, no, they didn't consult anyone. Wow. So that's interesting. I figured it'd be like the players not liking me or whatever, but none of them said that. None of them. What tools do they provide you with to better coach? Because I know there's no place to go to learn how to be a coach. Um, it's kind of just working with the players and seeing what they want. But from an organization perspective, what did they provide you with? Because that's a I'm bit sure, weird as well. I'm sure if we weren't in a global pandemic, I probably would still be there. But that, that could just be me saying that from my own egotistical standpoint. Okay. But it's not like they gave me anything to work with. Okay. They, they <laughs> I don't think they gave us anything to work with as a team in general. Mm. Literally nothing. And even further detail. That's why I love the CODcast. I love the COD community because they are so transparent on these details. It was actually, according to Pac-Man's words, he was trying to defend and fight for the team during a match where they were lagging so bad. A couple Optic members were. He took to a private discord with the league, I imagine the admins and the refs, to argue about needing a fair match. Apparently, Pac-Man also had heard that staff and management over at Optic and Immortals were upset with him and his reaction. They didn't tell him that directly 
likely he heard from someone else they were upset with him because of his actions of defending his team with unfair match circumstances. Which again, we don't know the full context, we don't know exactly what was said. Pac-Man himself says he did not cross the line with what he said, but he was obviously pretty upset by the unfair competitive integrity of the match circumstances. He was trying to fight for his players and apparently staff or management up top was upset with him. They didn't tell him directly that, and again, when it comes time for his firing and kicking, he was not ever consulted before it happened, besides receiving the call from Mud Dog saying, hey, we're taking a new direction, and you're simply gone. Like, the only thing that, only time I ever got any information from them at all is when, so after the one of the homestands, uh, Kenny couldn't, Kenny and JCap literally couldn't play. Like, they were getting red boxes on their screen. Okay. Which means, if you've played this Modern Warfare, that means you're just lagging your ass off. So I got, like, defensive for my team in the private chat. I was, like, getting upset for them so they could play the game and have a fair chance in the match. And then afterwards, that was shown to, like, the leaders of Immortals or Optic, and they got uh, mad at me for... Was that shown, though? I mean, you just copy-paste it. I was typing it oh, okay. in, like, a Discord chat. And so that they got mad at me for getting upset on behalf of my teammates, on behalf of my team. That's, that was the last correspondence I had with... Well, don't with, coaches on the sidelines get extremely animated and start raging? Yeah, I, that's <laughs> what I thought. I thought, I thought oh, that shoot. you'd want your coach to have your players back. And it was not like I did it pro uh, publicly. I did it privately when it was just us in the league. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. oh, whatever. Must have been some pushback from whoever you were speaking with at the CDL, and then it was just uh, policy to calm you down a bit, maybe? I, I wasn't know. even like... I don't think I was. I think I mean I was upset. Don't get me wrong. Maybe if it was like a baseball game, I would have been like kicking dirt at his at his feet or something. You know? Yeah. Just like, what are you saying? That's a horse shit call. Blah blah blah. Because I think it was, but I don't think that I was out of line. I didn't say anything out of line. I didn't do anything out of line. Here's the thing. But that's the last, is... But the point of that was to say that's the last time that I, I never even talked to anyone else. I was told that they were upset. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No one talked to me. Yeah, that's kind of weird. And yes, you can argue all you want. The team themselves was not the results you expected, but given all the context and especially this past weekend, and of course, when you actually get told that he was not given any forewarning, any plans of a solution or things he could actually improve upon, I, that seems, again, a bit unprofessional. And so what do you guys think about this? Have Optic screwed yet again another coach? Not given the best history when it comes time for coaching, especially when it comes to Tyler last season, or I guess I should say preseason this time around, talking about the issues these players have with their coaches. Pac-Man makes another statement that even the players uh, possibly did not know he was going to be fired. Even they were surprised by that, and that even stretches this case further. How can you get rid of a coach, someone who potentially leads or at least tries to orchestrate your team in some sense or another, you don't even tell your players that that lead figure is going to be gone the next day? Is, is that actually the case? We, we're going off Pac-Man's word, but if that's true, that's incredibly unprofessional. So you guys can leave your thoughts on that. I, I just don't, it doesn't sit well with me. And again, we can't know all the finite background details. We will see where Pac-Man goes in the future, whether it's back to the desk, coaching for a different team, like he also made sure to mention as well, guys, maybe a different position for a different esports organization entirely. And then off of that as well, I think we will be talking about Optic because it's not only Pac-Man that was actually let go this past weekend. Content creator Rally was let go. Apparently some LA Valiant staff might have been let go in the previous weeks and on top of that other people top figures from the immortals gaming club like their vp of competitive operations was also let go is there a struggle going on over in optic town was the hundred million dollar buyout a bit too strenuous for including the optic gaming brand which by the way the number of people under the optic gaming logo now can be counted on, on maybe less than two hands I think we'll be talking about that more in the future, guys. Potential unprofessionalism and a bit of a screwing by Optic Gaming and now their former coach, Pac-Man. I wish him the best of luck and, of course, to the roster as well. We will see where they go. Until next time, drink that water, drink that coffee. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon.